Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in the victory of Paris FC team against Cannes 3 to 1 in the ninth round of the French League 2. His Highness affirmed that the new victory proves the increasing development of Paris FC team, which plays under the theme Victorious Bahrain, and increases its hopes and aspirations to achieve the goal of reaching the first league next season. His Highness stated that the team's development is a result of the administration's support and the players' keenness on giving the best performance. He noted that the next stage requires to double the effort to achieve the desired goals. His Highness wished the team success in its next match. The Shura Council held its meeting, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, and approved a draft law on protecting new plant species. The council decided to correspond with the report of the Public Facilities and Environment Committee. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister announced that it is now accepting submissions for the third edition of the Government Innovation Competition Fikra starting today. The launch of the third edition of Fikra will contribute to supporting the role of the Kingdom's national workforce by reinforcing government service excellence and performance, as witnessed by the winning ideas of the previous two editions, which have both led to the introduction of innovation solutions that have benefited the kingdom and its citizens. FICRA submissions are open to all employees working across the public sector or at government-owned enterprises. Individuals or groups for up to four people can submit their proposals at the website. The closing date for submissions is 21st of November of 2020, where all submissions will be reviewed by the members of the Evaluation Committee. American news website Fortune published an article by the ambassador of Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. He affirmed that the signing of peace agreements by Bahrain and the UAE with Israel is a clear step for the will of these countries to take decisive steps for the good welfare and security of their people. The ambassador added that Bahrain's future depends on openness, tolerance and diversity, adding that the kingdom has successfully created a long-term strategic relationship with Israel. He added that the new relations provided a positive alternative to the difficulties of the region has gone through in the past years by presenting a realistic vision based on openness and inclusiveness, noting that the Middle East is eager for change. Sheikh Abdullah also added that all Bahrainis have been still live in harmony in the kingdom for centuries and that taking these measures has now come because it is the correct step that must be taken at this stage for the interests of the whole region. The ambassador also affirmed that the leaders in the region, with their wisdom and future outlook, see the unprecedented challenges facing the region and what it needs from their resolute action, which requires cooperation between all parties to achieve sustainable peace in the region. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,605 with 354 recoveries, 179 registered new cases and one death. 51 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 118 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel-related. The deceased was a 79-year-old citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.